السلام علیکم ناظرین آج ہم پڑھیں گے ففٹی موسٹ امپارٹنٹ ایم سی کیوز آف لنگوسٹک ریگارڈنگ فار دا ٹیسٹ آف ایس ایس اینڈ انگلش لیکچرر تو فرسٹ کوشچن ہے اکارڈنگ ٹو ہندوزیم لینگویج کیم فرام سراسپتی لینگویج مائٹ بی اسٹارٹیڈ دا امیٹیشن آف دی ساؤنڈ اینڈ وچ ارلی مین اینڈ ویمن ہرڈ اراؤنڈ دیم اینڈ دس اسکرائب دا پاؤ واؤ تھیری The sound of the person involved in the physical effect, effort could be the source of our language described Jihivu Theri. The biological basis of the information's development of the human language is called glossogenetic. Human beings can talk about their present, past, future and this property of the language is called displacement. There is no connection between a linguistic from and it's a meaning described or be trariness you can utter new and no new and novel words and the sentence for the animal can't describe which property productivity a little change in the second uh, a little change in the sound can change the meaning described which property of a human language discreteness the study The general study of the characteristic of speech sounds is called phonetics. The study of the movement, speech organ, articulations of the speech and the study of how the speech sounds are called articulatory phonetics. The study of the physical property in the language is called acoustic phonetics. acoustic phonetics the study of the perception of the sound speech is called acoustic phonetics the study of the sound involving speakers identification analysis recorded utterances is called forensic phonetics when the vocal cord are spread apart from the ear and the lung passes through them un did without any stoppage the sound is called both voiced and voiceless when there is a, some vibration the vocal cord while using the sound the sound will be voiced there are total blank sound in english language 44 the total number of vowel consonant sounds in english respectively 20 and 24 20 is a vowel sound and 24 is consonant sound. The sound in English language are the classified as the bilabial, dental, alivar, etc. It is according to their place of articulation. The sound which are formed using both upper lips, M, B and W. M, B and B are called bilabial. F and V are labiodentals. The sound from the tongue tip behind, behind between the upper front teeth, S and D are called dental interdentals. T, D, S, S, N, and the r car because they are pronounced the front part of the tongue on the aliver ridge or aliver k and j are car weiler and there is a sound that produced without the active use of a tongue and the other part of the mouth it is called glottal ip stand for international phonetics association alphabet The consonant sound resulting the blocking effect on air streams is called plosive or stops. P, B, T, D, K, J are plosives. The consonant having air pushed through the narrow opening are called fricative. Find the example of affricates. Affricates are sh and z. M, N, N are called blank consonant, nasal consonant. W, R and G are called dash consonant. 
are gliding and approximate. Find out liquid consonant, l and r. What are the syllabic consonants in the following? L and n. In American English, if t occurs between the vowel and the pronounce as a d, the for example, water writer is as a rider and metal as a metal. Name this term as a flapping. The only lateral sounds. L. The diet sounds are the mostly ar articulated and obstruction in the vocal cord of consonant. The sound which are produced without any obstruction in air passage and are produced with a free flow of air or cord vowel. Mark the number of manam thumbs and diphthongs respectively. Twelve are the manam thumbs and eight are the diphthongs. Read the transcription of the judge word. Flower, automobile, and creature. The study of speech pattern is called phonology. The smallest unit of a speech sound is called phoneme. The version of the phone are called allophone. The sound pronounced with the puff of a ear is called a sound with one vowel sound is syllable. Syllable consists, consists of onset and the rhyme while the rhyme is further divided into nucleus and coda. The consonant of the nucleus are called coda. The, valuable, the syllables having onset and the nucleus but not coda are called open syllable. The syllable having nucleus coda but no onset are called gross syllable. There are one or more consonant before or after nucleus which describes consonant cluster. When two phonemes occurring in a sequence and the some aspects of the phoneme is taken or copied by other phoneme, this process is called assimilation. The omissions or the deletion of a some sound that word is known as elision. I hope कि आपको 50 MCQs जो है समझ में आ गए होंगे मिलते हैं next video में अल्लाह फ़ेस